today is part of the new adventure. We are going to get some more livestock for the farm. We are going to load up old Trusty over here. Old Trusty has brought almost all of our animals to the farm for us. This is a great trailer and I'm excited to go today. Girls, are you excited? You excited? When we come back, we're going to have some new friends. Yes, some new friends. Tom Tom, you want new friends? Oh, you're Romeo. You're Tom Tom. Ta-da! Is that right on the money? It was right on the money. Like right on the money. Look at that. How you do that? Perfect. It's called a backup camera. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. On the road again. Yes. Buying me whatever my heart desires. Don't say I never do anything for you. Because you're so sweet. You don't ever do anything for hey, me. Hey, we got this on the video. When you said that, right? <laughs> it's true. It's true. He never really says no. He makes me wait and think about it, but he doesn't really say no. But this time we're doing something different, right? Yes. This time, do you want to tell them what we're doing? You can. All right, this time we are going to get sheep and we've never had sheep before. Um, I would like to have sheep because we are all rock and oak. We Avenue. have a 17 acre paddock that is way overgrown and the cows that we have right now are not taking care of it. So we might as well put some animals on there. All right, that's a little bit better. Our driveway is all gravel, so it's very bumpy. Uh, this road is to living in the country. Yeah. Living in the country. All right, so we're gonna do sheep. We're gonna do sheep to help us keep down the overgrowth in the paddock. And we also anticipate that they will have lambs. We are getting a ram. So we will sell the lambs and that'll help a little bit on the homestead, help pay for feed. And we are heading not too far from here, about 20 minutes to pick them up. We are going to get a flock of 13 ewes and one ram. So we're excited, let's go. Robbie, that's Nala, and where's Flock of Seagulls? <coughs> that one's Flock of Seagulls with the little puff on the head. Hi, girls. <coughs> so the weather's are in there? All right, that took what, an hour or so? Every bit. Every bit of an hour or so. And um, so there were supposed to be 13 ewes and a ram. And then he has three weathers, which um, we weren't going to purchase the weathers because we don't need them. We just needed the ewes and one ram. So we got them all loaded up and realized that they were in there. So we were able to identify one. One escaped and that was horns. We were able to identify another one, um, but there's still one missing. So I've gone through, I've separated them into eight and into seven because there's a center separation in the trailer. And I've checked their backsides. I've looked up all their dresses and there's eight and seven. That is not 14, that is 15 try again when we get home we're gonna empty out the trailer one by one and I'm gonna have Preston and Jeremy help look up their dress and make sure that they're not boys with a hidden you know what because I felt their bellies I looked up everybody's backside of their tail and I couldn't find it so let's get them home Now 
I'm gonna have to try to find that weather. Whether or not we'll find that weather, I don't know. <laughs> I know, girls, come on. Open it up. Open the gate. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Stop. Stop. Perfecto. One at a time, Bubba. and checked them all. Oh, look at that. There they go. Here's our two that we got yesterday. That's Lammy and Evelyn. Lammy and Evelyn. They're eating the oak? That's the whole oak. That's one of our whole points is if they could eat the yolk. Yeah. You actually saw them doing it? <laughs> Lammy, you're a sheep, not a pig. <laughs> yeah, they talk just like you. <laughs> oh, Lammy. Hey, why don't you let the pigs be? Yeah, go be a sheep. I'll be a sheep. Coming back in so soon? Are you sheep herder? Is that your little sheep herder? Uh, yes. <laughs> it would work, right? It would work. It's like those shepherd canes. <laughs> Pretty. All right, we got them back. We checked them over. They're all girls. Preston confirmed that they're all girls. So now we should, we need to figure out which one that we need to bring back to them because we did only want 13 and then the boy because we did get the two yesterday. Um, what were your first thoughts? They look like sheep, maybe not the ones I thought we were getting. So you thought they were going to be Dorpers. You thought they were going to be all white body. I was only body. going off of the videos you showed me of sheep that we've been watching. Right. And they were white with black heads, and they looked a lot bigger than this. Yes, and that was just one kind that all the different people were breeding. Okay, so you thought all hair sheep looked like Dorpers, and then when we went to the auction, you thought that those were just what sheep looked like. Correct. So you didn't know they came in different sizes and colors. No. Nope. You knew there was hair sheep, and then there was wool sheep, right? Correct. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay. I like them. They got good condition. They are pretty. They're very colorful and they went straight to the oaks. They did. So that's exactly what we wanted them to do is go straight to the oaks. So let's go give them some time. Let them warm up. They're coming back this way now um, and enjoy them. We've got another adventure to go on right now. We are heading over to Juno Acres. So we've got to get cleaned up and hit the road. If you like the videos, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button.
Dingle Bell, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.